Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Lexi if you're new here. What's up, how are you? Hi, so this is gonna be a little night in my life video, kind of like unedited style, raw, real. I mean, I'm gonna edit, obviously like spray, speed up clips, put music, you know, things like that. But as far as just like content style, I'm literally just gonna wing it. We're gonna chat. I feel like I have a lot going on up in the noggin that I wanna talk to you guys about. Um, I'm kind of in like a rut right now, just like feeling unmotivated and just like bleh. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, I've been like putting off vlogging this week because I just am not in like a great headspace lately. I've been feeling very like negative and just like cranky and tired and haven't been keeping up with my fitness routine, but we'll get into all that in a little bit. Right now, I need to clean the house because my dad is coming into town tomorrow. I'm very excited. He hasn't been here to this house since last year when we bought it and started like ripping it up. So he hasn't seen anything. So obviously, I want to clean it, make it look really, really nice, um, make everything look good so that when he comes tomorrow, it like is put together, it looks nice, and so he can see it. Um, so, I made a little to-do list. Let's look at it together and see what we need to do. I need to vacuum the house. I need to skim the pool. I already like brushed it and put some chlorine in it, but I need to like skim the top of it. So we'll do that. Um, I need to, I'll show you guys the garage. There's a lot happening with that, which I'm very excited. I think that'll be like a big help to like kickstart my lifestyle changes, I guess, that I want to make. Um, but yeah, that's, I'll get to that in a minute. I need to, I'm gonna hair oil tonight and like shower and wash my hair and do all of that. As you can tell, it needs to be washed. I'm gonna make a nice dinner for myself. I have a HelloFresh meal and Sean's at work, but I'm gonna make it for myself tonight and just like save half the leftovers. Um, I need to organize like the bathrooms, clean the bathrooms, like just, you know, make everything nice, clean the house and do some like random computer work. So, oh, and I wanna do my nails. So that is the game plan. First, I think let's do our nails right now and then we'll clean and we'll figure it out. And I'll probably cook dinner last because I feel like I can't cook dinner, sit, relax, eat until I've got the cleaning done. So let's get that done. I'll clean the kitchen obviously after I make dinner, but everything else. So we'll do our nails right now and then we'll clean. Um, yeah, like I said, just sort of winging this vlog, I'll chat. Actually, let's chat first and then I'll do my nails. So let me drink some water first because I'm kind of sweating from being outside. Okay, so let's get comfy cozy and chat. Basically, I don't know, like I filmed a week in my life last week, everything was great. I feel like I was having a good week. And then this week I've just been in like some sort of funk. I've been not eating well, um, just like feeling very sluggish, tired unmotivated like I was so consistent and I was absolutely loving how I was feeling going to the gym like three four times a week and working out and then I don't know it's also a mix between like getting home from work late now that it's like in season traffic time here which compared to a lot of places like the traffic isn't horrible but it just takes me a little bit longer to get home after work because there's more people here in the winter in southwest Florida that's just how it is um so by the time I get home, I'm just like tired. I don't want to do anything. I've also like kind of messed up my sleep pattern, which I think is like a huge part of it is I have been going to bed way later and like sleeping in till I only have like five minutes to leave and then I'm running out the door and I'm tired all day and I don't know. But yeah, my eating habits have been back to just like eating junk. Um, not like 100%. I'm just saying like I felt so good on my health journey and fitness journey and like I was in a good routine and now I just feel like my mind is cluttered, my space is cluttered. Like I kind of want to go through and do, obviously not in this video, but at some point soon I'd love to go through and do like another closet clean out, clean out like our bathroom closet of just stuff. Um, I've just been feeling like overwhelmed by things. So I think that's something I want to do. I need to get back to like saving money the way I normally do. Lately I've just been, I think it's just been the convenience of just eating out or grabbing takeout or like stopping for a coffee when like I have what I need here. I don't know what it is. 
Um, so that's kind of where my head's at. So I didn't really vlog this week because I've just been like, to be honest with you, just like in a bad mood all week. Um, I don't know necessarily what's going on with me other than I think I'm just like overwhelmed with everything that's going on. I don't know. Um, nothing in particular is going on. I just feel like I'm like off my game if in a way, like I'm kind of in a rut. But with that being said, things are looking up for sure. Um, we're building a home gym in our garage. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna do like a whole like segment of another vlog, like home gym makeover. Um, but I'm really, really excited to show you guys when it's all done. I'll give you a little quick sneak peek here in a minute, but I'm really excited. That's gonna be huge for us because just having that in the garage at home, like when I get home, I don't have to drive, you know, the 15 minutes to the gym and then work out for like an hour and then drive home. Like, it's just gonna be so nice. I can work out right there before work. Like that's gonna be so crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's a plus. Um, the holidays are coming up. I've got my Vlogmas intro ready, so I'm so excited for that. Just also kind of feeling like social media wise, like I'm in a big like content rut, I guess. Um, I feel like my content isn't bringing you guys value. It's not bringing me value. Like I just, I don't know. I almost feel like I need to do a social media detox for myself. Not, not posting, but not consuming content, I think or consuming like mass content and just like watching the couple people that I really enjoy for entertainment purposes. I don't know, I find myself like getting really down on myself when it comes to posting on social media lately. I don't know what it is. It's probably just like this negative spiral of thoughts in my head to be completely honest with you guys. Um, but with that being said, I do feel like I've been thinking about getting back into therapy on a regular basis. And you know, with the holidays approaching, it can be really exciting time, but I know that it's like a really hard time for a lot of people and it can be kind of a stressful time of year too. So I wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Um, the segment was not planned to be like my sponsored segment. I'm literally just chatting with you guys, but I feel like it fits in really well because yeah, I just, I don't know. This time of year, especially for other people, luckily I haven't experienced it much living down here with seasonal changes. But I know up north it can be like super cold and get dark really early and it's just like a very meh time of year. Um, the holidays are exciting, but I feel like the times around it can still be like really, really stressful. So um, you guys know I'm a huge proponent of therapy, but knowing where to start can be really difficult. And especially right now, that's where I'm finding myself wanting to start it back up because it's not like college where I can just like go to the counselors on campus and talk to them. I'm struggling with like finding someone in my health insurance network and like it can be very expensive. So BetterHelp is actually a really great option. If you haven't looked into it and you've been considering therapy, I highly recommend. I started therapy back in college for my anxiety, but you don't need a clinical diagnosis to start therapy. I feel like everyone can benefit from it. My favorite quote about therapy is like, it's a gym membership for your mind. And that's truly how I feel. And I think I've been neglecting just like my overall wellness. That includes like emotionally, mentally, physically. And I think starting therapy along with working out and eating healthy again is really going to make a big difference in my thoughts and like switching around my mindset and just like living a more positive lifestyle every day. BetterHelp is a platform that helps you guys and myself find therapy online. It's really affordable, it's really accessible, and I think it's just a really great option. I personally don't like doing things outside my house in general, so being able to do therapy from home virtually is a really great option. And because therapy is like dating, if you find you and your therapist like don't really mesh well, that's really common. And you can actually match with a new therapist for free on BetterHelp, so that's awesome. You don't have to worry about finding somebody in your network and driving to a different office and like wasting the time. You can do it all from the comfort of your own home, which we know I love. It's super easy to sign up, take the quiz, and get matched with a therapist. So whether you have something that's troubling you or you just wanna to talk to somebody, or you just wanna work on yourself, honestly, that's like kind of the headspace that I'm in right now. BetterHelp is a really great option for that and I'm really grateful that they sponsored this video because you guys know how important mental health is for me 
and this literally fit seamlessly in the conversation I wanted to have with you guys anyways. So go to betterhelp.com slash Lexi Fuller. I will have it right here on the screen and you can get 10% off or check out the link in my bio and you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, which is great. So like I said, if you want to check it out, visit betterhelp.com slash Lexi Fuller for 10% off your first month. I'll have the info on the screen as well as in the description, but thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring and thank you guys for being open and willing to chat with me about just like this funk that I'm in. But I'm like determined to turn it around. I really do want to like get back on track because I was feeling so, so good mentally and physically with everything. Like I had a positive headspace. I was in a good routine. I felt energized like, and lately I've just been like falling asleep by like noon and I hate that feeling. And that's how it was honestly, like before I got on my sort of health and fitness journey. But like I said, I think having the gym at home is going to be really great and starting up therapy again and just like getting back on track and decluttering. That is a huge thing. I cannot wait to do that. I'm so excited in the next couple weeks to just like declutter crap everywhere. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I've been at. That's why there's not really like a week in my life this week, but I did want to vlog tonight before my family comes into town. You guys know I love hanging out with you guys, especially when Sean's at work. So that's what is happening here. Let's see, what else can I chat to you guys about while I'm sitting here? Oh, I got this package. I'm really excited. It is a like puzzle feeder and I got it actually for Rita. Um, it says it's for all size dogs and cats. Let's actually open it right now if I can get it open. It, she's been like a lazy bum like the rest of us the past couple weeks and she's been eating really fast even with like the slow feeder that we have. So Sean was like looking up like puzzle toys. Oh, this is so cute. Uh, also, it's dishwasher safe, which is amazing. And it simulates their brain, fights boredom, prevents blow, improves digestion, all of the things. Oh, it has a little... Interesting. I don't know how she's going to feel about that. Lola's tail is wagging like crazy. It's a little it's a little feeder for Rita girl. But basically, you just like put the food in and then she can slide these and open it. So we'll try this for her tonight. Very excited to see how it goes. It was really affordable. I'll link it down below for you guys on Amazon. It was like seven bucks, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll try that and see how she does with this. Now that I'm done babbling, let's get some, actually let's do our nails first and then get some cleaning done. So I'm gonna go get my nail stuff. I'll do a little montage so that I don't bore you guys, but it's the same old, same old, same old. I'm gonna do um, clear nails on top of mine because somehow they just got destroyed and they're so short and brittle. So I'm going to do glue on nails on top and then gel paint those. I'm thinking either like a red, a bright red or like a fall, like forest green is what I'm thinking. So let's go do that. And then we'll come back and we'll clean and then we'll make dinner and we'll hang out. Actually, I'm gonna put my hair oil in while I go get my nail stuff too. I showed you guys that in a previous video so you don't care to see it. So that that way I can wash that out later as well. if we can figure this thing out. I mean, if I can't figure it out, Rita's really screwed, but I'm pretty sure I 
can't be that hard. Hold on, we got your new selfie, you're up. Thank you. Okay. So, we give her one scoop, so let's see if I can like, put this in. Oh wait, that wasn't a slot where it was supposed to go. <laughs> ah, I can't even figure it out. She's probably gonna absolutely hate this. So she's still eating it, but I think she's still eating like the open trays. I don't think she started eating and moving them around. Yeah, I think she's just doing the open ones. So we'll see how that goes. But this is the dinner that I'm making. Of course it's pasta, but it's a healthier pasta. A well-balanced pasta. So you guys know the drill. I'll vlog, but I will do more of a montage so that you're not bored out of your mind. But the house is clean, I have candles lit, I'm very excited, and then I'll just do all one more clean of the kitchen when I'm done. But, let's get chopping. We have a lemon to cut, I think that's it. And then we need to bring a pot of water to a boil. Yum! Still watching Vampire Diaries and now I'm about to eat. Update on the feeder, Rita kind of gave up. So I had to help her out, but it's okay. She'll figure it out eventually. Update on the food, it's delicious. And I had some extra lemon from dinner, so I'm drinking lemon water. And I'm fully hooked in Vampire Diaries, y'all. I'm on season three, episode 13. Mm. I'm so sad that that's gone. I mean, there's another serving, but I do not need to eat the other half. I'll save it for Sean or I'll eat it for lunch tomorrow, but it was so good. Like that is a meal I would 100% make by myself without the HelloFresh box. I would remake that for sure. It was like crushed tomatoes, Italian sausage, um, scallions, a bell pepper, sour cream, cream cheese, red pepper flakes. I added garlic, salt, pepper, and the pasta, and some butter. And it was phenomenal. It was so good. That put me in like such a better mood. Do you ever get like sad partway through eating your meal when you know it's like halfway gone and you just want to eat it forever? Because that's what I just experienced. I also keep getting bug bites, you guys. I have random bug bites on my legs. I have no idea when they're from. Oh, also, I didn't talk about Halloween. We had such a good Halloween in our first house. We had a good amount of trick-or-treaters and we got to like hang out with our neighbors, which we have not done yet. And just like meet more people in the neighborhood. So it was really, really nice. It was a great Halloween. And the schools around here do the day after Halloween off, which I think is genius. And I wish that that happened when I was growing up because if Halloween was on a weekday, we just had to go to school the next day. And that sucked. But yeah, so I'm like in this weird transition between fall and Christmas. If it were up to me, I'd probably decorate for Christmas right now, but Sean wants to wait a little bit, so fair enough. But I feel like we got robbed last year because we weren't in the house until like partway through December and we didn't decorate until like pretty close to Christmas. So, and the house wasn't fully done. So this year I'm like, I wanna embrace it all. 
So, I don't know. We'll see. But we need to focus on finishing the gym and stuff first before we decorate for Christmas. But the house is all clean. Probably going to run the dishwasher. Then I think I'm going to go shower. I showed you guys my nails, right? Yeah. I think I'm going to go shower. Um... And wash my hair and do all of those things and then maybe i'll have a little bit of ice cream while i continue watching vampire diaries and relaxing what time is it it is 8 17. so not bad i feel like i got a decent amount accomplished i do have some computer work i need to get done so maybe i will switch to bed after my shower and do that from bed I need some ice cream. Sounds pretty good to me. But let's go shower, wash out this hair oil, and then figure out a game plan from there. Hello, I am fresh out of the shower. Also, in my little heart-to-heart -heart chat that I had with you guys earlier, I forgot to mention also that my skin is going crazy. Again, it's probably all connected. It's probably lack of sleep, stress, not proper diet, like not getting a well-balanced nutrition. It, it's probably all interconnected, but my skin has been like out of control and just like not great. Um, like it's not horrible, but I'm just saying like, I keep getting like these little painful zits and random spots and like rashes almost on my face. Um, so that's not fun, honestly. Um, but my shower felt really nice. I sat there and just let the hot water pour on me for like a couple extra minutes because I just needed that and it felt really nice. Um, but I think I'm gonna straighten my hair in the morning, which I genuinely have not done in, oh my gosh, like a really long time. Um, but I wanna see how long it looks when it's fully straight. And I also, I don't know, just feel like doing it. So we'll see. I, that means I have to wake up earlier in the morning, which we know I haven't been very good at. Um, just spraying my usual. It's a 10. And then the Kerastase spray. And then I'll go in with one more spray, my JVN conditioning mist. But anywho, that's what's happening here. I just wanted to add that in that I think everything's just connected. I haven't been drinking enough water. It's just, you know, one of those weeks. And if you're feeling that way, you're not alone. Just know. I feel like, I don't know. Maybe it's just the time of year, but it just, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I never gave you guys a garage gym update. I promise in the next video, I will do a whole tour of the garage gym, but right now it's just a mess anyways. Um, and it's not done, so, but soon it should be. I'm excited for my dad to come into town tomorrow and hang out with him this weekend. And yeah, that's what's going on here. I don't really have anything else to add. I'm still debating if I want ice cream. My stomach kind of hurts, probably because I ate all of that pasta very, very fast because it was delicious. Um, but so now I'm like, do I want ice cream? I don't know. I definitely need to chug water though. I can tell you that that is for sure. And I'm probably gonna go to bed. Oh gosh, my hair is like still dripping wet, even though I had it in a towel and I just dried it again. Um, but I do feel like my hair is finally growing, so that's a positive note of this vlog. Not as fast as I would like, but it's starting to grow. So that is a plus. And I'm taking the, um, I just 
started taking like literally as of yesterday the hair skin and nails from first form so i'm hoping that that helps with my hair my skin and my nails <laughs> hence the name um but now i'm getting ready for bed i'm gonna brush my teeth if i decide not to have ice cream i need to make that decision like right now um and head to bed i will I don't know how long this video is. I was going to say I'll vlog tomorrow, but I'm going to be with my dad. We'll see. I'll either vlog tomorrow or I'll put a little ending clip if I don't. But I'm going to go to bed. So TTYL. Talk to you guys either tomorrow or later. Good morning. I'm vlogging on my phone. My hair is not straight as you can see. I chose sleep this morning instead of straightening my hair. It is what it is. <laughs> But I am trying the gingerbread latte. I'm so excited. If you guys know, gingerbread is my favorite. And gingerbread lattes specifically were my favorite holiday drink years ago. And they got rid of it everywhere in the U.S. So I'm very excited that Starbucks brought it back. And I'm going to try it today. And let you guys know how it is. And I'm really excited. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to update you on that. I'm very tired. It's dark out, as you can see. And it's kind of chilly. It's 65 here. And the person in front of me is taking five ever to order, but that's okay. I'm excited. It's going to have a little holiday cup. Oh, I can't wait. I'm getting a hot grande gingerbread latte. Here we go. Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. Is there any food we can get started for you? Good morning. Can I please just get a grande um, hot gingerbread latte? Grande hot gingerbread latte. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Awesome. What's your name? Lexi. Lexi, we'll see you at the window, man. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy I got it back. Okay, stay tuned. Hey, vlog. I am back home from work and I'm about to do my hair and get ready for dinner. My dad is in town. So we're going to go to dinner tonight and some drinks. I am gonna straighten my hair now. I'm gonna put on Vampire Diaries while I get ready. Um, but I just wanted to be cozy and take my time. So I'm sitting on my bed and I'm gonna use this little light up mirror to get ready. And to straighten my hair finally since I didn't do it this morning while I watch Vampire Diaries. <laughs> vlog we are kicking it old school this vlog has been all over the place but i wanted to end it off and since i'm editing i decided let's pull up photo booth and film the last clip on here but i hope you guys enjoyed this very raw real chaotic couple days in my life <laughs> thank you again BetterHelp, for sponsoring and if you guys are wanting to check out therapy i highly recommend you can do it literally from your couch at home which we love um but I'm going to work on getting my life together, so let's do it together. And I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you're not subscribed already, please do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.